Shalom, y'all. Ima Hoover here, a.k.a. Mama Cheryl. And today we're going to come with you with a video showing you how to clean and fill your uh, oil lamps. Okay, I have two oil lamps right here. This one is really dirty. This is the upstairs lamp, and this is the downstairs lamp. We kind of keep us ours clean. Okay, I got Yael behind the camera, so she might chime in every now and again. Okay, now... Let me show you what oil lamps consist of, okay? First, you have a bowl which you put your fuel in. And then right here, this is called a burner, all right? Let me unscrew it so you can see it. This is the burner. And this thing inside it is the wick, okay? That's what burns the fuel, for those of you who don't know. Okay. Which is just made out of cotton, so you can get a... Cotton shoelace, which she did, because we didn't have any at the time. Yeah, that was for the the, uh, the, the small, small lamp. lamp. While, while I'm showing them how to do this, you can run and get that one off the windowsill. Okay. It's right there. Okay, what I'm going to do is just take a paper towel and go on the inside of here and, and clean it out. Okay, all right. So tiny. This, this is our other little lamp, too. We use this one in the mud room. Uh, yeah, I'll zoom in for you. Yeah, so uh, we're not going to do this one right now. I just wanted to show it to you what it looked like. Uh, it, yeah, this stays in there so we can have light when we come down the stairs. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do this one today. I'm going to do this one. And we have another one that's larger than this. Upstairs. Another day. Okay, and this is the one that has the shoestring in it. Like she was telling you, I took a shoestring because the wick, we didn't have no more wick. But, hey, I had shoestring and it works fine. It's a cotton shoestring I took out of a tennis shoe or a sneaker, as you say back east. But it um, burns very well, though. Yeah, it does. Like a regular wick, except okay. better. Yeah, it works well. Okay, anyway, we're going to keep cleaning. So, uh, okay. Oh my goodness! See, I knew yeah. that was gonna happen. Hey, Asa, okay. Get down. Pause. Pause. <laughs> We're back. Okay. Okay. We had to stop so we get the cat. As soon as we started uh, filming this uh, and recording, the cats decided they had to come over here to see what was going on. Asa uh, was climbing up on our show. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm kind of wiping off uh, the globe. I could have used a little bit of uh, window cleaner on this, but I'm not going to worry okay. about it's it too okay. much, okay? So we're going to sit that one here, and we're just going to fill up. Top down, there you go. Fill go. up, um, put this here because it's easier to pour. Ooh, let me wipe this out. Dust it. Okay, here, I'm going to have to hold it. Okay. There we go, there we go. It's working. All right, do, it, do, do the best you can. I am. Okay, I... we're going to put the oil in here. Oh shoot, the oh, the wick, the, where did this wick come from? I have two wicks. Which one? You see, it's, it's a wick Oh my gosh, here. what? Yes, okay, uh, uh, and there's those tweezers. Pause. Where are, I have some tweezers, but. I, all right, we're back, okay. All right, well, I, I got it. I want you to do it. Huh? I said I want you to do it. Well here, take it out. Take it out, take it out. Where did the extra wick come from? I don't know. It probably fell in. Oh, it stinks in here. Yeah. Look at you. See, I, almost, I had it. <laughs> but you said I could do it. She wanted to do it. <clears throat> okay, hold up. I need to turn it so I can't see it. There we go. Almost got it. Almost got it. Okay. How's it work? This? Ah. Let me do I it. I am stink now. Smell like oil. Ugh. And just so you know, lamp oil stinks. Okay, pause a minute so till we get this mm. out. Okay. Okay, you guys, we had to get that other wick that was down in the bowl. I don't know how that got down there. And, and while while it. we were getting that out, and she went to go get some more oil, I went on and I trimmed the wick. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trimming the wick. See the brown, the burn part is gone. 
I'm crying. Then we're gonna put the uh, chimney on. I don't know if I told you about that, but this is the bowl. This is the burner right here that controls the wick, and this is uh, the chimney. Okay, we got this one done. We're gonna set it over here, and now we're coming. You want to clean that one out? We're going to have to wet something. Okay, wet that a little bit. Go wet that a little bit while I take this off. Okay. Okay. Well, before I take it all the way off, I'm going to go ahead and trim this wick as well. Okay. So it can burn nice and fresh. Okay. I forgot. Is it your little bit or my little bit? What you mean? Whatever little bit, it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. And I did my little bit. All right. We're going to take the burner off lamp number two. And we're going to put some oil in this one. And Yael is going to start cleaning that one because that one is a total mess. Okay. This one's worse than the other. Yeah. Ew, look at the napkin. Yeah. So. This all right, I'm going to pour the oil in. Okay, now. I need the other one. Oh, that, yeah, that's what, what that one is for. Okay, we're going to take off, take this out of here and put it in here. And screw this back on. Okay, the bigger your wick is, too. I kind of got it done. Let's see. Not bad. Just a little bit more. Okay. Here, get the wet one because I can't, I can barely even get in it. Okay, there we go. Like Ooh, this so one was bad. nasty. Cause they, mom used like lets it burn all night, so it's gonna be disgusting. These are the biggest. Yeah, the other the one, the bigger one, like the little uh, you call them barn lamps. Yeah. It's really nasty too. So. Those get yeah. pretty nasty if you mm -hmm. let them burn forever. When you turn the fire up sometimes too high, the, uh, the wick is too high, it does that. Okay. You just saw this. Well, she has it always really high. Mm hmm. I have to, maybe because I have to turn it down so she doesn't make the fire alarm to go off. Because our fire alarms are so sensitive. Like, if you leave a boiling, like water boiling okay. and you forget about it, it'll start beeping. Okay. This one really, this, we're going to have to get some glass cleaner for this one because, yeah, too gross. yeah, this is what happens when you don't clean them like you should. <coughs> okay. Okay. If you don't clean it out, like in a month or two, no, you every won't be other, able to see nothing out of this. Every other day or so. Okay. Now, we got the, these are little cheap lamps and I don't know why they're sitting crooked. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, fix that. Anyway, that's how you clean your lamps. And now we're ready to go. Okay, now if we had to put new wicks in here, we would have had to wait like anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour before they could be lit. But these, since it was already a little bit of uh, oil in them, they're ready to go. So, you have anything Hot else? To, yes, ready. you have anything to say, Yael? Go check out my channel. Yael's living. Yeah, Yael living. That's her channel. Uh, yeah, so, anyway, that's our video on how you clean your lamps. I got to fix this. It's driving me crazy. It's crooked. It really is. Mm-hmm. I don't know it's, why. It's like, the other ones are barely touching, but then that one right there is just touching it a lot. Oh, okay. I see what it is. I can fix that. Okay. I want to thank you guys for watching. And like I said, I'll do an episode on how you clean and uh, fill soap? these lamps. So, huh? It sounds like you said apple soap. No, episode. <laughs>
If I said apple sold, I meant to say episode. Okay? On our next one. So, thank you for watching. And we'll check you out next time. Shalom. Shalom.